What's going on guys, it's your boy K-Star here, back at it again with another action figure unboxing review. Today we've got something extremely awesome, it's a bit old, came out like early this year I guess. So we're a bit behind, but nonetheless it's awesome. It's the Tanjiro Komodo, or Komodo, however you pronounce his name, Buzz Mod from Demon Slayer. And it's absolutely awesome. We did the Zenitsu figure recently, so... It was only right that we got Tanjiro, and I did grab him. I grabbed him on a pay later plan, so it's absolutely awesome because these things are expensive. They are anywhere between 100 to 130 pounds. This one cost 120. So, yep, and we'll get straight into it. So, we'll do our random item of the day, which is once again a big bottle, litre or two litre bottle of still water from Aldi UK. Get it, drink it, it's summer. We really need it very important and we'll get straight into it so the light should be slightly better today we've got a different setup going on hopefully but I'm not sure so you'll have to bear with me guys so before we start sorry again can you smash that like button subscribe all that boring stuff that you don't want to hear it really helps us and helps the channel grow and we really appreciate you here for that and we'll get straight into it so front of the box as you can see window display different things blah 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 image of the figure buzz mod Japanese Shebang 112 scale. Tanjiro and his name there. Buzz Mod at the top. At the side, the sub for the anime. Demon Slayer. The back, some awesome art of Tanjiro doing his thing with different accessories, etc. Some terms and conditions. Japanese Shebang Aniplex. There we go. Same, nothing, nothing, nothing. And without further ado, we'll get into it. So sorry about the delay, guys. If there's one gripe I have with these Buzz Mod figures is to unbox them, they have about one trillion layers of sellotape. The, must, the, the hundred bucks that these things cost must be from how much sellotape they use. Because if any of you own one of these, then you must know, jeez, I can't believe it. It just took me five minutes or six minutes of the camera rolling to actually unbox him. But anyway, he's finally unboxed. And nonetheless, here's your boy Tanjiro looking absolutely awesome. I must admit... I prefer the colour of the Zenitsu, so basically the Demon Slayer outfits that these guys wear look black, and they look black in the in the show, but it's a very chocolate brown, and I'm not sure why they've gone for the chocolate brown, maybe it's actually brown in the show, but I think black looks better anyway, and although he looks awesome, just like Tanjiro in every way, something is just off about the skin tone, and I think a few... Other reviews have said the Zenitsu skin tone was a lot better. Much, much, much better. So we'll start from the head with paint and detail. As you can see, Tanjiro there with his really stoic doll looking smile. Looks very China doll style, but it quite adds to the figure. His brown hair tinted with a nice red, which we can't go wrong with. Quite nice indeed. You got his birthmark, his demon slayer. If any of you have read the manga, you know what that means. Won't spoil it for the viewers, but that is a birthmark, not a cut on his head. His eyes, a nice reddish brown, just like they are in the anime. His hanakara or hanafata, however you explain it, his earrings of his ancient sun breathing ancestors who invented the breathing arts. Absolutely awesome, so you want to be careful with them. His collar, white, and the buttons, as you know, brown, nothing much there, boring. The nice Demon Slayer mark on his back, can't go wrong. The belt there, white, nothing that interesting. The silvery blue buckle, his skin tone again. I just think he should have been a bit lighter. Perhaps in the show, if you look closer, maybe he is more tanned than the others. They might be screen accurate, but I recall him being very light skinned. So maybe they'll do a re-release in the future and get that skin tone right. As I said, the back, again, the white cream wraps and the silvery blue buckles on the ankle and his socks with sandals, as all Demon Slayers wear. So in terms of paint and detail, very good. Kind of wish his skin tone was a bit better because on the promo images it's lighter. But when you have it in hand, it just seems that little bit darker. Other than that, Quite awesome. 
So without further ado, we'll get into some accessories as always. So bear with me guys. So as always, what always happens when I do one of these Bud Mod, Buzz Mod reviews is the music always cuts out every single time. I have no idea why, but anyway, we've got it back up. So this is his first accessory. This is his Demon Slayer jacket, which looks absolutely incredible. I can't remember if he has this from home or if he's given it by his trainer, the water style breather, but either way, very nice green. And if you bear with me one second, I will try and get him on it. So there's Tanjiro in his nice Demon Slayer jacket. As always with these figures, the jacket makes the world a difference. Absolutely awesome. They are hard to get on, so take five minutes, learn how the joints work, because it's like putting on a coat when you put it on a real person. It's really hard to actually get it on. So yeah, take the time, get the joints in place. But after you've got it sorted, it does look absolutely awesome. And it's wired, so you can have it flowing in the wind, or whatever you need to do with your boy Tanjiro. So I haven't got it on very well, but for the review, it should be fine. So next we have Tanjiro's head sculpt. So he comes with an angry Tanjiro face, which I think is absolutely awesome, and it's my favorite one. Painted really nicely along with the earrings. I will equip that momentarily. And we have a silly Tanjiro face when it's the comedy moments of the show, which we can't argue with. Still absolutely awesome, but it would have been nice to have like, I don't know, a better expression realistic face than this. Tanjiro comes with six interchangeable hands as well as the two he's already got. So you get two of these, I won't show them all, but you do get two of these and you get two clenched fist hands and you get two sword grabbing hands. So the basic stuff in terms of hands. Tanjiro comes with two swords. So you get his sword here for putting in his sheath, which is always my personal favorite. Looking absolutely awesome. And then you get his drawn black Demon Slayer Katana, which looks beautiful. And it even has the embedded screen accurate red lace in the handle. And it's black, the bad omen, but Tanjiro does it and slays anyway. So if I just casually pop his hat off, carefully not harming the earrings, as, as so, we equip Tanjiro, hopefully easily without breaking it. A bit harder than Zenitsu, but he looks much cooler with the angry face. I think it takes a lot to anger Tanjiro, but when you do, you know it's all over. So very good face, this one. Very nice. I wish they added an angry, stoic face instead of the silly one, but that's awesome nonetheless like that very much as i always say with these figures exercise great caution when moving the bits because this is very delicate it's hard to get the the sword sheathed sword in the hole no pun intended but be very careful i've almost snapped mine just from wiggling it too hard trying to get it in i was actually getting it in the wrong way i was trying to get it in facing the other way but I think that's wrong I think it's supposed to be this way which sound, seems strange because you'd assume the curved edge would be facing down but either way just be very careful because if you snap this you'll be crying and that's like part of your 120 quid down the drain which you're paying monthly or you've just dropped 120 quid on a figure and it's broken so take a few minutes learn how it works and always exercise caution when maneuvering accessories of your figures. Tanjiro also comes with two interchangeable legs. So you get two of these, which are used for sitting on these lovely purple mats. So if you want a nice crouch Tanjiro, you can have him crouching on the mat with those legs. So you unequip the legs and then you equip these new legs and you can have him kneeling down on the mat which in my opinion is a lovely addition. They don't have to add it, but they do. So you can't go wrong with extra stuff. 
the cellar type continues. So you also get Nezuko's box. So this is the box the water master gave Tanjiro. And as you can see there, Nezuko hides in in the show. As we know, she makes herself small. And you get this for Tanjiro, which is a nice addition. Because say if you didn't have the money to buy Nezuko yet, you could literally just grab this. And it still looks as though she's there, which I think is a nice addition. They didn't have to do that, but they did. So, as I always say, you can't argue with free extras. And you just clip the straps on like so, and I'm guessing we get our boy. And I'm guessing you peg it in at the back through those pegs somehow but for now we'll just leave it like that because this has almost been running for 20 minutes and I haven't even done what we should have done by now but nonetheless that looks absolutely awesome on the back of Tanjiro protecting his sister as he always does as we know or if you don't want him carrying the box you can carefully just put it on the floor like so and have our boy protecting it as he always does don't you dare touch my sister. As we know, our boy Tanjiro, always protecting her till the end of time. And the final thing we get, if I haven't shot myself in the face from all the changing of tape that they put, you get a nice flame effect, which if for those of you who don't know, Tanjiro's family special ability is the flame dance. But it's not flame breathing, it's actually sun breathing. So you get this nice sun, sun style flaming wheel effect. And I'm guessing somehow there'll be a way to just wedge it into the base. And then you have a nice sun style effect, which is absolutely incredible. I love effects. I think the only thing they could have done better with this figure to make it worth the 120 bucks is added a water effect as well. Because for those of you who don't know, in season one, Tanjiro always uses water breathing sword style. He only uses once or twice the special family sun breathing technique. But either way, it's a lovely effect. They didn't have to include it. You can also use it for Nezuko, I guess, if you want to. But very nice if you want that bit of extra zap to your figure. Absolutely awesome. Sorry guys, me being an absolute fool scatterbrain that I am, we totally forgot our articulation. So that's how much the cellar tape and all the messing around annoyed me with this one. I just totally skipped over it. So what I'll do before we wrap up and conclude, I'll do some articulation. I am so sorry for that guys. So we'll do that right now. I'll put the I'll put the timestamps in the link below so you don't have to listen to me moaning and babbling. So anyway, as my hand shakes, we've got Tanjiro full rotation at the neck, a neck ball joint on the neck as well as one at the head. You can look up about that far and extend with the neck. And you can't look very far at the head, but that crazy ball joint looks a bit weird. Does enable you to look down to the floor, which is quite good. We can't argue with that. So that's really good. You have the bird butterfly joint, so you can do spins. You can rotate it all the way up like this and get your, your, your knee bend if you want it. Knee bend. You get your elbow bend if you want to elbow some demons in the face. And you get a full rotation at the shoulder as well as the elbow. But be very careful because as I can see, these joints are very thin and narrow and they look like they will snap. But you do get loads of rotation and rotation at the wrist, up and down, backwards and forwards. All you'll ever need with your boy Tanjiro. You also get my favourite ugly joint at the chest, but it's effective. So you get backwards and forwards, swivel all the way around if you really want to. And another swivel at the waist as well as a floating piece for the pants. Not too shabby. At the legs, if you move your sword piece out of the way, you do get just below a 90 split. So I want to say... Yeah, just over 45 for the split and rotation. You can go all the way up and do kicks and spins and everything you want to do. A nice hidden knee joint there that you can take to about 90 at the knee to do an anime jump style pose. 
which we can't argue with. You don't get a swivel at the knee because of the way it's hidden, but you do get a swivel at the ankle at the top there on the shoe. You get up, down, backwards and forwards and all the way around at the ankle and a toe hinge as well, which is very delicate. And as you can see, I've not looked out on this one because I've also got a little bit of box damage as my camera decides not to focus. But I have got worn out joints, which is not good for the price we're paying, not good. So, in my opinion, the Zenitsu was a lot better than this figure. But it's still nice to have in the collection, and this was their first go at doing a Demon Slayer figure, I think. So they haven't done too bad, regardless, but price point, not good, man. In my opinion, these should be no more than 90 bucks with shipping. So I think they're milking the price just that little bit. So sorry guys, that was articulation. I'm really, really, really sorry that I didn't do that properly. Really silly of me. So I understand if you're mad at me for that. But anyway, we'll get his coat back on. We'll get him into a pose and do a conclusion. So there you go guys, sorry about that. We have Tanjiro, our boy, doing his sun breathing style. I must admit this one was very flimsy and more annoying than enjoyable. So it's a lovely looking figure. In terms of looks, I'll give it a a 9 out of 10, maybe an 8.5 because of the skin tone. But in terms of trying to get him in poses and trying to pose him about, it's just, it's so difficult. And the amount of fiddly accessories and all sorts, they're good to have. And as he falls over even, he can't even stay in the pose. But it seems that my jacket is too tight or small, so I can't pose his arms properly in the jacket. Maybe I'm just in a bit of an agitated mood and I've not took enough time and I'm worrying about the editing of this video and everything's going wrong that can possibly go wrong. However, unfortunately, yes, definitely not as enjoyable as the Zenitsu, but still a nice piece. If you like Demon Slayer, pick him up. You won't be disappointed. It's lovely, anime accurate and just overall a nice looking figure, but yeah, accessories and things it could have come with more for the price point and it's just overall so flimsy and hard to get in the positions that you want it to but if you want a nice tanjiro for your collection you've got over a hundred bucks to spare you're anime crazy like me then grab him because i don't think he'll last long and i have seen people trying to sell him for like 150 up to 160 but he's not worth that the most I'd pay for this guy is 125 or 130 if you can get him on eBay or a Japan hobby store. Just type it in, Tanjiro Buzzmod Aniplex figure, Japan, and see what you can find. But eBay, you might be looking a bit more. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Sorry this one was an absolute mess. This is probably the worst review I've done in ages. Absolute craziness, but yeah. Nice figure, premium figure, looks good, looks like the character. But in my opinion, too fiddly, too much going on, too much messing about. But you do get some nice things like the Nezuko box, his face plates, his sword, everything like that. So we can't be all negative. So overall, I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10, purely for the fact that he looks amazing and just like the anime. So yeah, that's all I've got to say really, guys. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button, notifications bell, all that boring stuff that you don't want to hear. But I fully understand if you don't, because this was an absolute mess of a video. Thank you for your time, as always. We really appreciate you here. And please stop by again for the next review sometime in the future. And as always, Tanjiro says, stay safe and keep collecting.